नमस्कार इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द गार्डनर्स थ्योरी ऑफ मल्टीपल इंटेलिजेंसेस आई एक्सटेंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू माय आर आर ई एस आई बैंगलोर प्रोफेसर्स एंड ऑल आई टी फॉर चेंज फ्रेंड्स फॉर इंस्पायरिंग मी टू वर्क ऑन दिस वीडियो Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences Many of us are familiar with the three broad categories in which people learn they are visual learning auditory learning and kinesthetic learning Beyond these three categories many theories and approaches towards human learning potential have been established Among them is the theory of multiple intelligences developed by Howard Gardner, John H and Elizabeth A. Hobbs, research professor of cognition and education at the Harvard Graduate School of Education at Harvard University. Howard Gardner, the concept of multiple intelligences is a theory proposed by Howard Gardner, psychologist and professor in his book Frames of Mind, published in 1983. Gardner's early work in psychology and later in human cognition and human potential led to his development of the initial six intelligences. Today there are nine intelligences and the possibility of others may eventually expand the list. Howard Gardner defines multiple intelligence as biopsychological potential to process information that can be activated let us know the gardner theory of multiple intelligence special intelligence which is called picture smart linguistic intelligence otherwise called as word smart naturalistic intelligence which is called nature smart musical intelligence each music smart bodily kinesthetic intelligence which we call body smart interpersonal intelligence we call it as people smart interpersonal intelligence we can call it the self smart and logical mathematical intelligence which we call reasoning smart let us know about these multiple intelligences in detail verbal linguistic intelligence people having verbal linguistic intelligence are well developed verbal skills and sensitivity to the sounds meanings and rhythms of words linguistic intelligence is a part of howard gardner's multiple intelligence theory that deals with sensitivity to the spoken and written language ability to learn languages and capacity to use language to accomplish certain goals Let us know the characteristics of linguistic verbal intelligence. People having linguistic verbal intelligence are good at remembering written and spoken information, enjoys reading and writing, good at debating and giving persuasive speeches. They are able to explain things well. They often uses humor when telling stories. We can activate this intelligence in our students through writers workshop journals storytelling poetry class discussions creative writing and debating many famous people with linguistic intelligence are lord sankaracharya swami vivekananda raman maharshi kalidas rabindra tagore william shakespeare and dr b r ambedkar and many great writers have an ability to analyze information and create products involving oral and written language such as speech and books careers one could dominate with the linguistic intelligence one could be a poet journalist writer teacher lawyer legal assistant politician translator speech pathologist speaker and curator special visual intelligence these people have the capacity to think in images and pictures to visualize accurately and abstractly special visual intelligence characteristics these people think in pictures create 
vivid mental intelligence to retain information they enjoy reading and writing they are good at putting puzzles together they are good at interpreting pictures graphs and charts enjoy drawing painting and visual arts recognize patterns easily let us know the careers one could dominate with the special visual intelligence architecture graphic design photography interior design aviation choreographer chef fine artist interior designer industrial designer civil engineers geographer physicist a traffic controller we can do these activities in our school film making map making cartoons crafts colleges designing posters murals sculpting painting and drawing bodily kinesthetic intelligence the ability to manipulate both body and objects with a keen sense of timing is known as bodily kinesthetic intelligence people having this kind of intelligence are able to accurately manipulate objects due to a strong mind body union this can be demonstrated in the form of physical skills these people have well hand eye coordination let us know the potential career choices of such type of intelligence they are pilot fashion designers architect surgeon artist engineer and athlete these activities can be done at the school level to activate this kind of intelligence scavenger hunts building simultaneous action stories sports performing acting out manipulative and dancing musical intelligence we call it as music smart musical intelligence is also closely related to mathematical intelligence as they share a similar thinking process as a young adults we can witness these people humming or drumming to a self directed rhythm characteristics people with musical intelligence have an ability to recognize and create musical pitch rhythm timbre and tone someone with musical intelligence is often a sensitive listener and can reflect or reproduce music quite accurately these people are good at remembering songs and music we can do these activities at our school level making instruments playing instruments writing lyrics musical games rhythms patterns time period music cultural music careers one could dominate with one's musical intelligence or singer composer dj musician vocalist logical mathematical intelligence we call it as number or reasoning smart logical mathematical intelligence refers to the capacity to analyze problems logically carry out mathematical operations and investigate issues scientifically people with logical mathematical intelligence have an ability to develop equations and proofs make calculations solve abstract problems and demonstrate excellent reasoning skills abstract thought they are able to make connections based on their prior knowledge and are drawn to categorization patterning and relationship between ideas these activities are helpful for our students to develop this kind of intelligence in them they are puzzles measuring van diagrams scientific experiments surveys sequencing classifying and computers let us know the potential career choice people having mathematical intelligence can be a mathematician accountant statistician scientist and computer analyst interpersonal intelligence we call it as social or people smart 
while the ability to communicate effectively with others is common knowledge on the basis of interpersonal intelligence. It is not only limited to verbal interaction. People with developed interpersonal intelligence are also able to read the moods, sense, feelings and intentions of others. They are great organizers. Generally, they try to maintain peace in group settings and encourage cooperation. Characteristics of Interpersonal Intelligence People having interpersonal intelligence are able to understand others, stand out in the crowd, listen empathetically, excellent social skills, good at communicating verbal, they have skill of non-verbal communications, they can create positive relationship with others, good at resolving conflict in groups. We can activate this intelligence in our students through these activities, encouraging the students for interviewing, class discussions, problem solving, jigsawing information, sharing, cooperative activities, teaching others and group story writing. Let us know about interpersonal intelligence. These people have the ability to self-reflect and be aware of one's inner state of being. These learners try to understand their inner feelings, dreams, relationship with others and strengths and weaknesses. Let us go deep into characteristics of interpersonal intelligence. People having interpersonal intelligence are good at analyzing their strengths and weaknesses, enjoys analyzing theories and ideas, they are excellent self-awareness, they can clearly understand the basis for their own motivation and feelings. Let us know what are the potential career choices for the people having this kind of intelligence. They can be a therapist, can be a counselor, a person having this intelligence can be a psychologist, entrepreneur, philosopher, theorist and religious leader. Let us know activities to use for this kind of intelligence. Journals, self-reflection, codes of arms, setting goals, likes and dislikes, family trees, personal timeless, autobiographies and independent project. We can encourage our students through these activities to develop this kind of intelligence. Let us know the naturalistic intelligence, the ability to understand the nuances in nature, including the distinction between plants, animals, and other elements of nature and life. Notable individuals with naturalistic intelligence include Charles Darwin, Jane Godwell. Let us know what are the characteristics of people having naturalistic intelligence. They are interested in subjects such as botany, biology, geology, physiculture. They are good at categorizing and cataloging information easily. They may enjoy camping, gardening, hiking and exploring the outdoors. And they doesn't enjoy learning unfamiliar topics that have no connection to nature. Charles Darwin, Gerald Jurel, Sundarlal Bahuguna, Menaka Gandhi, Wangari Matai and Many other environmentalists are the persons having naturalistic intelligence. Potential career choices They can be geologist, they can be farmer, botanist, biologist, conservationist and florist. Let us know the classroom implications of this kind of intelligence. These intelligences, although separate, work together in an infinite number of combinations in each of our learning experiences. Gartner sustains that although we all possess these intelligences, they do not develop in the same way and at the same pace in every individual. Some may, by nature, be stronger and more dominant than others at any given time of our evolution but all can be strengthened. Giving our students the chance to discover and develop their different intelligence 
can have a series of benefits for our students. From fostering new talents to becoming more involved and active learners, developing their capacity to recognize and almost more importantly value their individual strengths are guiding them into becoming confident, successful and accomplished adults in their field of choice. By applying the story of multiple intelligences in the classroom, educators take into consideration the different types of learners they might have in their class, reinforce all types of intelligence in every student, and allow for an individual learning process that will ultimately enable each learner to utilize his or her specific abilities and demonstrate learning. Role play, collaborative work, picture puzzles or field trips allows for a learning experience that will not only allow different types of learners to learn but will enrich every individual's understanding of the topic. I extend my thanks to all my reverend professors of RIESI Bangalore, the great persons of IT for change and all my dear teachers from different parts of the country.